channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 2, capacitor and dielectric. Example 1. Determine the effective capacitance of the configuration. Okay, if all the capacitance are identical and each has a capacitance of 2 microfarad. Okay, so here if let's say we have terminal A and also terminal B. So this terminal is actually is a, a battery. Okay, so usually when we want to uh, find the effective of the capacitor, we will start from behind. Okay, so from here actually we will start with C1, C2, and C3 yeah, because they are connected in series. Okay, okay, how we know it's series because they are from the same wire. So we will try to simplify C1, C2, C3 first. Okay, now C1, C2, and C3 actually is connected in series. So our C effective yeah, for C1, C2, and C3 is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. Okay, so it's 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 micro. Okay, so our C123, we will get 2 over 3 microfarad. Okay, so after we simplify 1, 2, 3, the diagram that we will get is like this. Huh? This is the new diagram that we will get. Okay, this is the new diagram where we will get where here we come C123. After we combine, and this is C4, C5, C6, and C7. Okay, so after that, what should we do? Okay, after that, we will try to make it simple. Okay, we try to connect C4 and C123, okay, because they are connected in parallel. So, we will find the C effective for C1234. Okay, so next, C123 and C4 are connected in parallel. So, parallel C1234 is equal to C123 plus C4. Okay, so C123 just now we already found is 2 over 3 micro and now C4 is 2 micro. Okay, therefore our C1234 we will get 8 over 3 micro farad. Okay, so when we combine C1234, so the new diagram will become like this. Okay, so this is our new diagram where here will become C1234, C5 and also C6. Okay. So if here there is a uh, the junction here and C5, C6 and C1234 actually is connected in series. Okay, this is in series. Okay, because they are in the same wire. Okay, they are same wire. So we will calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we we'll combine it into series. Okay? So because it's series, so it's 1 over C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equals to 1 over C1234 plus 1 over C5 plus 1 over C6. Where over meaning it's 3 over 8 microfarad plus 1 over 2 microfarad plus 1 over 2 microfarad. Okay, so C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will equal to 8 over 11 microfarad. Okay, so after that, we will get, okay, uh, just now this is C7, eh? so we will get C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and C7, okay, and they are connected in uh, parallel, okay. So next, we will combine all together, okay, so C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is actually C effective or C total, where is equal to C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus C7. Okay, so we substitute in 8 over 11 micro plus 2 micro. Okay, so finally we will get 30 over 11 micro or we can write it as 2.73 micro farad. Okay, so this is the uh, answer for the C effective for example 1. Okay, next we will go to example 2. Okay, so example 2 here in the figure above, C1 is given 100 microfarad, C2 is 200, C3 is 300. The applied potential difference between A and B are 8 volt. Okay, so here we know that C1 is 100, C2 is 200. Okay, so meaning that the storage okay, is uh, different. Okay, so our VAB is actually 8 volt and uh, this is actually V total. Okay, so we know that V total is equal to 8 volt. Okay. okay, calculate the charge on each capacitor. So before we want to find the charge on each capacitor, we need to find out first what is the total charge. Okay, and we can use uh, Q total 
equals to C total times V total. Okay, V total we know that already given 8 volt but we need to find C total first or C effective. Okay, so from here actually C1, C2, C3, uh, we try to simplify it uh, where we will, uh, the first one is we try to simplify C1 and C2. Uh. C1, C2 is connected in parallel. Okay, so we will find C12 equals to C1 plus C2 where C1 is 100, C2 is 200. Okay, so we will get 300 microfarad. Okay, after that, uh, we will try to combine 1, 2, 3 all together. So it's C effective. Okay, equals to C1, 2, 3 is equals to C1, 2 plus C3. Okay, but because uh, after we combine C1, 2, actually it's already series with C3. So it's 1 over C effective equals to 1 over C12 plus 1 over C3 yeah? because after we combine it will become like this okay it becomes series huh? this one will be C12 this one will be C3 okay so when you substitute all the value you will find that C effective is actually equals to 150 microfarad so I will substitute into equation here 150 microfarad V is 8 meaning that the total charge in the store in this three capacitor is actually 1200 micro coulomb okay so this is the total charge so when the current flow from point a okay when it comes to this junction it will split okay so this is our i total or q total so when it comes to this junction it will split to c1 and c2 uh, because c1 and c2 are connected in parallel Based on the, uh, the capacitance given, C1 only 100 here, C1 is 100 microfarad and C2 is 200 microfarad. Meaning that C2 will store more charge compared with C1. Okay, and it will store double up uh, because C2 is 200 and C1 only 100. Okay, so what should we do now is, uh, we know that this charge actually it, it will split into C1 and also C2. Okay, but we don't know how many charge that will store in C1 and how many charges will store in C2. Okay, so what should we do is now we need to find out first what is the um, potential difference at uh, C3, okay? Okay, our C3 here, V3, okay, so we need to find V3, eh, where V3 is equals to Q3 over C3, where Q3 is actually Q total eh, because uh, the charge will flow, okay, uh, in a series eh, with, and then pass through C3. Okay, so our Q3 is actually 1200 microcoulomb and C3 is given 300 microfarad. Okay, therefore our V3 is equal to 4 volt. Okay, so here this is 4 volt. Of course, this one also 4 volt. Okay, because our total is 8 volt. Okay, so this is our total V. Okay, so after we already found the, uh, the potential difference across the C3, so this is 4 volt. Okay, meaning that here also equals to 4 volt. Okay, so now we can find our uh, charge stored in each capacitor uh, because our equation is equal to Q equals to C times V. If you want to find Q1, meaning that it's equal to C1 times V1. Okay, so C1 is 100 microfarad and V1 is equal to 4 volt. Therefore, Q1 is equal to 400 microcoulomb. Okay, next. Q2. So Q2 is equal to C2 V2, where C2 is equal to 200 microfarad and V is equal to 4 volt. Okay, so it's equal to 800 micro coulomb. So Q3 is equal to C3 times V3. Okay, where we know that actually Q3 also equals to Q total. Okay, so it's equal to 1200 micro coulomb. Okay, next find the potential difference across each capacitor. Okay, actually, we already found this now where we know that our V1 is equal to V2 is equal to 4 volt and our V3 is equal to 4 volt as well. Okay, next C, find the potential difference between point A and point D. So we go back to our diagram, point A to point B. Okay, so actually this is the part that we need to find, point A to point B. Okay. So this is the part. Okay, so if you refer back point A and point D, is actually we are referring to this part. Okay, this part. So where this part is actually equal to 4 volt. So we can write as the potential difference 
A and D is actually equal to 4 volt. Okay. D. Find the total energy store. Okay, so the total energy store actually we have uh, many equations but we can use either one. So it's equal to half CV square. Okay, or it can equal to half QV or you can write half Q square over C. Okay, so you can choose either one. Okay, so usually I will use half CV square. Okay, because it's much more easier. So half C effective just now is uh, this one. Uh, it's uh, 150 micro. And V square V total is equal to 8 square. Therefore, the answer for the energy store U is equal to 4.8 exponent negative 3 and the unit is in Joule. Okay. Okay, next we'll continue with example 3. Okay, example 3. Figure shows the combinations of the three capacitors. C1 is 100 micro, C2 is 22, C3 is 47, and a 20 volt of supply is connected to the combination, meaning that our V total is given 20 volt. So now find the effective capacitance in the circuit. So of course we try to simplify it okay, from the behind. Yeah? So here we will find C23 first, so where C23 is connected in series. So 1 over C23 equals to 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3 yeah, because it's connected in series. Okay, so we substitute in C2 is 22 micro, C3 is 47 micro. So C23 will equal to 15 micro farad. Okay, so after that, okay, after we simplify, we will get this one C1 and then we will have C23. Okay, so C1 Okay, so C1 and C23 is actually in connected in parallel. So we will write C effective or C total is equal to C123 C1 plus C23 Where C1 is 100 micro, C23 is 15 micro So the answer for C effective is equal to 115 micro farad Okay, so here we have C total 115 micro farad. Okay, B. Find the charge store in the capacitor C1. Okay, find the capacitor, find the charge store in capacitor C1. So Q1 is equal to C1 times V1. Where C1 we have 100 micro farad and V1 because it's parallel with the terminal. Okay, so I will write here. Okay, because our terminal is 20 volt. Okay, of course. C1 and C23 also, here also 20 volt, this one also 20 volt eh, because it's parallel, okay, parallel with the power supply. So I will substitute into the equations where C1 is 100 micro, V1 is 20 volt. So the charge store in the capacitor C1 is equal to 2000 micro coulomb. Okay, let's find the Potential difference across the capacitor C2. Okay, we want to find what is the value for V2. Okay, so if you refer back here, okay, V2 is actually, uh, okay, this is V2. Eh? Okay, so now the total charge, okay, that can store in uh, this system, okay, we can find Q total first. Eh? So Q total is equal to V total times C total. Okay, Q equals to CV where V total is 20 and C total is 115 microfarad. Okay, so therefore our Q total is actually equals to 2300 microcoulomb. Okay, so when this charge 2300 microcoulombs come, okay, so it will split to C1 and also it will split to C2. Okay, it uh, depends on the storage. Okay, if I say the storage is bigger, meaning that the charge that's stored inside the capacitor also will be greater. So now if you compare, C1, the storage is 100 microfarad, C2 is only 22 and C3 is 47. Okay, and just now we found that actually if you combine, okay, C1 is can store 100. Okay, C1, the capacitance is 100 microfarad. C23, the capacitance is 15 microfarad. 
Meaning that C1, the storage is greater and the charge that's stored inside the uh, C1 is actually is greater. Okay, so we can find first okay, how many charge that will store inside C2, 3 yeah, because we want to find V2. Okay, because our Q2 is equal to C2, V2. Okay, where C2 we already uh, know that it's 22 microfarad. Okay, so in order to find V2, you need to get Q2 first. Okay, where our Q2 is here, our Q2 uh, two, 3 first uh, is equal to C23 times V23. Okay, so C23 is 15 micro and V23 is 20. Okay, because uh, after we combine it's 20. Uh, and we will get 3,300 micro coulomb. Okay, so this Q23 is actually equals to Q2 is actually equals to Q3 yeah, because it is calculated in series. Okay, so meaning that charge will store in the capacitor C2 and C3 is equals to 300 microcoulomb. Okay, meaning that 2000 microcoulomb is stored in C1. Okay, so 2300 is in C1, 2000 is stored in C1, and 300 microcoulomb is stored in C2 and C3. Okay. over C okay you will get the same answer okay so that's all for this uh, 2.1 we will continue with 2.2 charging and discharging